today is a great day and today is one of those days where you look in the mirror and you say I won't settle for less I will never settle for less than what is intended for me to accomplish for me to create and for who I am supposed to be so and you can put that in any words in any phrase ways you want but you are actually the best you you can be and by doing this and by starting your day off and I always say you should start your day off your morning the first 20 minutes of your morning should not be anything negative it should only be positive so if you have to if this would work better for you and I do this also is I listen to motivation first thing in the morning so because you are creating your day when you wake up in the morning how you focus on your morning is how your day will flow so when you know that you are creating your day then you will see that it is so much easier for you to get what you want I am writing this out here for you creating your day this is the most important part of your day is your morning and what you're doing and be happy you know and I'm sure if you're out there and you're you're floating around you're doing different work on social media you know there's a lot of people that are happy and a lot of people that are grumpy and there's a lot of people that they just blame the world for everything and for their business not working and for systems not coming together and for everything not happening for them so if that's the case walk away knowing that motivation and you've been through this and you've been working on this for the past year hopefully with me is you know your motive through your motivation it gives you the ability to give and receive more of what it is you actually need to have the lifestyle you want and I take away the I want from that because 99% of the time I should say 99.9 .9, but we'll say 99 today percent of the time people think what they want is what they need when it's actually not true because I find when I am helping people which I do every single day that what they are telling me they want on how they need to grow their business on what their outcome is what their goal is for X amount of dollars they want to see coming into their business you know how they want to travel to work less and get more and that's what they're telling me they want so what I when I break that down for each client or each person that is joining our community I can see that a lot of the times and I'm not gonna say this is definitely for you at this point but a lot of the times I'm finding out that what they want is that list of everything that's great that's going to happen in their lives so what what they need is what I give them and one of the things I know for positive and this is for a fact that first thing we have to focus on is the mindset you have to have a positive mindset and it has to be a mindset that is set on your success that is set on you creating the lifestyle you want that is set on you taking action when an opportunity comes your way and there are opportunities coming your way every day so when you ask yourself what is my purpose why am I here why am I on this planet why am I in this area why am I doing this why do I have this burning desire somewhere inside of me that says I need to be a home business owner that I need to work from home that I need to do this ask yourself these questions is only you have those answers so a lot of times I'm finding that people get the idea this may or may not be for you but they get the idea of the lifestyle and they see some of us you know having this great lifestyle and they decide again this may or may not be for you well if this person can do this then why can't I 
Why can't I have that lifestyle? Why can't I travel? Why can't I have what they have? I'm not any worse. I am actually good. I'm motivated. I'm action taking. You know, whatever you have to say to yourself. So, but what I'm finding is they get the idea from watching other people, which is fine. That's how we all get ideas. Seeing someone else has succeeded. Seeing how someone else has achieved this. And that's great because that's the way the world goes around. So, but if that's you and you're saying, well, I don't really know how to get started. I don't know why I started this, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm not getting anywhere. So one thing I'm going to ask you is, do you really, really want to go through the hassle, the hard work, the failure to have a home business? Because all those things are a given. They are a given. I'm not going to lie to you. They are a given. You have to work hard and you have to work long hours and you have to work when you don't want to work. One thing I can tell you is, well, I can tell you a lot of things, but I'm going to tell you this thing is, you don't stop working because you're tired. You don't stop what you're doing because you're tired. You keep going until the job is done. And the job is something you have set yourself. So there is no one berating you to get it done. There's no one standing over you saying, you got to get this finished today. You know, or I have to have this right now. You don't have a boss standing over you saying anything. You are that person you are that boss that is saying that so ask yourself if you're not having the success you want right now in your home business and what you're doing am i disciplined enough to do this have i disciplined myself to take the actions and to keep going and to not stop until the project's done Ask yourself these questions because like I said at the beginning, you're the only one that can answer these questions. I know for a fact that a lot of people that are starting out, there's several people that are starting out right now this month. They decided, I'm going to start a home business. I'm going to do this. I need more time with my family. I need to have more money coming in. And they got off on the wrong foot. So they got totally derailed from what they were doing. And so they actually reached out. And we're able to say, you know what? I don't know what I'm doing. Can you help me? And that was the first sign that told me this person is ready to make a change in their lives. Because they're not just going to struggle along. They're going to say, okay, the way I'm going to get this done is if I join a community, if I get with people that know what they're doing, and then I can take off. And this told me just by talking to this, actually it was a couple, two people. And they're a team, and they said, you know what? We don't know what we're doing. What do we need to do to get started? We started this. We've got this. We, we're trying to do a blog, but we don't know how. We're trying to give, figure out how do we do ads. We don't know how. You know, it's just a whole long list of different things. But the, the clincher was they asked for help, and they were getting the help. So when you do that and you discipline yourself, no one can discipline you. You are not a child. You do not have a parent, a grandparent, or an authority figure over you. You are the authority figure over yourself. And, you know, back in the day when I was working corporate, when I was working the, the corporate world, I was the boss. So I've always had that mentality of, I have to do this and I have to make sure everyone else gets their jobs done. But if I don't set an example for them, then what good, what good am I to anyone if they can't see that I am doing the same thing? I am getting my job done. So when you do that and you're now in a whole different ballpark where you are your own boss, you're not going to settle for less than 100%, right? You're not going to settle for less than who you're meant to be. So you take your purpose on why you're here to start with, and I'll let you know this, and what you need to do, what you need to learn, what action steps you need to have to be in that frame of mind, to be that person. 
So when you do this, and you're going to say, oh my gosh, she's on a tangent again. Well, a little bit, maybe, maybe not. But you have to have the tools you need to do the business. So if you don't take responsibility for your own actions, for your own motivation, for everything you're doing, there's action steps involved. Because you know what? Life is a roller coaster ride. Don't you think? I mean, really, don't you think life is a roller coaster ride? We have ups and downs and ups and downs. And we go up and we go down and we go up and we go down and we go around the bend. And it's a roller coaster ride. It's the same way in anything you do, regardless if you work at a job and you're working for someone else, making them money. Or if you're working for yourself and making yourself money, you're going to have a roller coaster ride. There's always, it is always a given. There's, there's always ups and downs. Besides, how boring would life be if it was all just straight and we all just didn't have any, uh, no, we would get bored. And I don't know about you, but I don't like to be bored. I like to be excited. I like to have a drama. I like to have excitement in my life. I love to be able to create new systems, new strategies, and to give them to the marketplace and to put them out there for you guys so that you will grow. And that's the whole purpose behind a community of like-minded people who have a mindset that is unstoppable. Join in with these people. Join these teams. You're going to have some bad ones out there and there's going to be some really good ones. But look at what they're doing and look at how they're presenting and how they're, if they're giving positive and they're showing you, you know, this is what you need to do, not this is what you need to buy, a buy, buy, buy. It has to be more of this is what you need to do. That's the only way you're going to grow and that's the only way you're going to succeed. Because if you don't take who you are, and discipline that you and know what your purpose is what is your purpose for in this plane what are you here to do what are you going to leave behind what are people going to say when you are no longer here oh he or she was a great person that worked all the time you know didn't spend a lot of time with family or anything but you know they were they were there it was okay or are they going to say this is a this was a great man or woman, whoever you are, and they really gave and they spent time with people and they were caring and they built this business that is passing on to their family if you want to do that. But that could be something someone says. It just depends on what you are doing. And it's all up to you. I suggest you get the good mindset and know where you're going. Know what your end result is. As you all know, I work backwards. I always get my end result first. I have what I want to create and I want the outcome. What I want the outcome to look like. What I want the outcome to be. In that way, I'm able to work backwards and I can see the end result so I can go and create it that way. So when I get to the beginning, I already know each step, how it's going to look and how it's going to unfold and how it's going to help you so for me that works for not everybody can work backwards and that's okay we all work at a different pace we all work in a different way and that's the way it's supposed to be but when you ask yourself who do i really want to be and what do i need to learn to be that person what do i need to learn maybe it's motivation maybe it's discipline Maybe it's knowing your purpose. It could be all the above. So when you do this, you're going to find you're going to get a lot more clarity. And if you meditate like I do every single day, you're going to get more clear on what you need to be doing. You're going to get more answers and your clarity will be more because the answers are there. The answers are there within you. You just got to get them out. I know it's crazy, right? But... I learned a long time ago, and it was clarified again here a couple years ago, that my purpose is to help people and guide people to their success. 
And when I learned, I was in, like I said, a corporate world, and my passion always led towards helping people that were growing under me to grow and to be the best. So I always trained and taught my management team and the people that were under me to do better than I am because I've never been threatened by someone succeeding me. That's the way it's supposed to be. So I found that that has carried over into my online world. That that's why I've been able to be a good coach because I'm not threatened by people succeeding what I'm doing. I expect you to succeed what I'm doing. I expect you to make more money than I do. I expect you to be the best you can be. That doesn't bother me. And that's why I give you these systems. I give you this training and I give you this every single day to try to help you. Because I am where I want to be and I'm as happy as I want to be, which is ecstatic. I'm always blessed. And I wish the same for you every single day. Don't ever settle for less than who you are. Know who you are. Motivate yourself. Nobody else can motivate you. You hear motivation. People talk about motivation, motivation. That's great. We do motivation. We, we teach motivation. But the bottom line is these are just stepping stones for you. You have to take those motivational steps and tricks and tips and make them work for you. You're the only one that can motivate yourself. Because if you don't motivate yourself from the heart, get a little brain in there, then what are you going to do? Good question. The question is for you. What are you going to do? So learn what you need to learn to grow your business. If it's not where you want it to be, get with people who are already doing it and grow. There's no reason not to. There's no reason not to grow. So I am so blessed that you all joined me here. And there's going to be so many of you on the replays that it's going out. And it's also going to go over to YouTube and it's going over to my blog. So definitely take a look and keep this in mind because this is solid gold. It's going to help you. Like I said, this is stuff I teach people that they pay me big bucks to do. So use these tips, use these tricks. And I do have always something up here in the header for you to learn and grow and be the best you can be. It's also, I believe this one is a way to do $5 ads on Facebook and get sales and get signups and just whatever it is you're promoting. Use this ads. I mean, the five bucks a day, five bucks. Run it for as long as you want. Run it for two days. Run it for three. See how it goes. Set it up. If you need help setting up the ad, let me know. I've got PDFs and trainings on that also. Okay, friends. Have a super blessed day, and I wish you all the best. Never settle for less than who you are, and you are amazing. <laughs>